All right, YouTube 116 Falconer here. <clears throat> In the continuing uh, battle of the tunas, tuna, what are we eating series that uh, I have on my YouTube page, uh, I had somebody ask me uh, about the difference between wild planet tuna and raincoast tuna. Or something to that effect. <clears throat> so what I did, now, I want to get this off my chest right away. I tried like hell to get a can of American tuna, brand tuna, because my initial, once I initially got interested in this, I was like, I want to find an American-based fishery, I mean a USA-based fishery, that does everything, you know, start to finish in USA. So the one that I keep running up against is American Tuna. Um, and I'm not going to spend $60 on 12 cans, you know, ordering it through American Tuna. Supposedly they sell it at Wegmans now, but if you go to Wegmans.com, it doesn't even show up on their, on their website. Um, I talked to the people at American Tuna. They said that we don't have it locally because our, our Wegmans is a, a very low volume Wegmans, which is true. I mean, geez, our Wegmans has like a, a farrier on staff there in case the Amish, you know, throw a shoe on their horse while they're up there shopping. So, But if you just go to Wegmans.com and don't select your store, it doesn't show up on their website either. So I talked to them for, I mean, they, they, they're, they're nice to talk to and stuff. And I told them, look, you know, I'll... I'll give you five bucks for a can and ten bucks for the shipping, but they would not do it. So I'm stuck with what I can buy locally here, which is Rain Coast. All right, this is all Canadian. All right, and I already know this is a freaking excellent albacore product. Everything is done. It's uh, it's pole and line caught or pole and hook caught, hook and line, whatever. Um, it's all done in the Pacific Northwest. It's canned up there, you know. It's all North American stuff, you know. I don't have any problem buying Canadian products, Canadian beef, Canadian whatever, you know. They're they're pretty good peoples up there. So, um, the Wild Planet, uh, which I don't know why I got Wild Planet, and then I bought Safe Catch. These are what my these two were at my local Weg Wegmans here. Um, $3.99 a can, $3.99 a can. This is Walmart. Uh, I think it's $4.98 a can for Raincoast. Um, and you can get these, you can get uh, Wild Planet at Walmart also. It's $3.98, so it's like a penny cheaper than Wegmans. Uh, these two products here are Safe Catch, which they're claiming to fame as their mercury testing. Um, but everything is uh, processed and canned either in Vietnam or Thailand. So, like I say, I was looking for something, you know, USA. But raincoats, it's all I can buy around here. So, um, so if you look at this, now, now the raincoats gives you their information. All the tunas are, uh, they're hook and line caught in the Pacific Northwest. Safe catch doesn't tell you anything about where the tuna is from. All right, this they say pole and troll caught. Um, and wild Pl wild planet says this is uh, Pacific, Northern Pacific, and. Uh, New Zealand. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, fish caught in North Pacific and coastal New Zealand. This is Vietnam, processed Vietnam. Safe catch is processed in Thailand. Um, which I'm not saying there's anything bad with them places. I'm just saying I want something American. <laughs> so, um, 
the other thing that that I can't figure out with these with these tunas are all albacore, all albacore tuna. But if you look at the uh, nutrition facts, um, I mean the safe catch. You know, you look at this and you go, "My God, man, this thing's way better than any of these other tunas." Um, I mean, this is two and a half servings per can, calories seventy, calories from fat fifteen. All right, it's a five ounce can. Wild Planet, same thing, five ounce can. Two and a half servings per can. Calories from or calories ninety, calories from fat thirty five. Um, Rain Coast. Calories is three servings. Hundred calories, calories from fat forty. So it's like, I don't I don't freaking understand that crap. Um, I know that Rain Coast, if you go to their website, they show you a lot of stuff. All right, you go to these two here, and it's they're just really really uh, uh, just blah almost blog type websites. You know they got pretty pictures of sea turtles and crap, but. Not a whole lot of information. Raincoast has a lot. American Tuna has a lot of information, too. I just can't get a freaking can of American Tuna. So, I'm going to open these up. Give them a try. Um, Wild Planet, they actually give you directions how to open the can. So, that's, that's pretty amazing. I'm going to see which is, you know, in my opinion, which is the best. Now, here's another thing. All right, I spent a lot of time on the phone with American Tuna. Um, talked to one of their—I uh, can't remember what the guy's title was—but he said in American Tuna they have an extensive tagging program, and their adult populations of tunas that they fish basically travel from Mexico up to the Alaskan coast and back. That's pretty much apparently they tag a crap load of tuna they monitor them they do this and that so that's where their adult population stays at so for all you people saying that tuna are world travelers and you never know where the tuna comes from i'm sure there's some that stray in but but there's populations that stay in in regional areas so let's open this stuff up here Here's Raincoast first. Like I say, I already know I love this stuff. Um, I can't answer that. Mm. Oh, shut up, Siri. I didn't even talk to you. Mm, that's oh, that's good stuff. Now what I'm gonna do here after I do my taste test. I got some portobello mushrooms. And I'm gonna do uh, stuffed, uh, uh, do a uh, tuna melt, portobello tuna melt. All right, so here's the safe catch. Now you can see how much liquid is added to that. Still smells good, but here's rain coast. Not nearly as much. You get more, you get more tuna in here than you do in here. Still smells like damn good tuna. Here's Wild Planet. Make sure these are all in camera view here. Oh, I didn't read the directions on Wild Planet how to open the can properly. Oh, okay, I'm doing it right. There's Wild Planet. Now, Rain Coast and Wild Planet, their tunas are only cooked once. I wasn't able to find out any information on Safe Catch, but it looks it looks a little darker. I'll have to see if I can find out if they're cooked once or twice. But you can see how much uh, browner that is, or whatever, discolored, as opposed to even the Wild Planet, which is just nice and white and the rain coast which is nice and white 
So I don't know if that's a if this is twice cooked or single cooked, but so we'll try a piece of uh, rain coast, which like I say, I already know I love this stuff. Mm, mm, mm. That's good tuna. That's damn good tuna. The rain coast. Let's try Wild Planet. See, it's got a lot more juice in there. But if you look at the ingredients, they all they're all the same. <clears throat> Wild plant is good also, but it's a lot uh let me try some more rain coast here. Seems a little sweeter, the the uh, wild planet. And you can taste the uh the juice in there. I mean it's it's like wet. Yeah, see the rain coast, you get a lot more, uh, I don't know if it's just the tuna taste or what, but you don't have the saturation of the fluid in the, in the actual tuna meat. So let's try safe catch. Uh, it's good. It's good like Wild Planet good. But, let me try another piece of Wild Planet here. Very moist. These two are very moist. And the taste just isn't let me try some more rain coast. I'm telling you, no, I'm not just, uh, you know, Bullshit, yeah. The Rain Coast is a better tasting tuna. These two, they're they're very moist. Um, they have a almost like a uh, star kissed tuna flavor to them. Um, they're I I don't think they compare at all with the Rain Coast. Um, let me try some more. Safe catch here. Problem is, I think I think they're packed with too much uh, whatever in there, too much water. Yeah, I mean. It's like like with the safe catch here. You can tell you're eating tuna, but it's just not distinctive. Um, try the wild planet again here. I want to make sure I have enough left for my stuffed portobellas.
Yeah, I I gotta say, man. And both of these say do not drain. Um let's see. Of course I can't turn the can right side up because, you know, I don't know why they put the stuff on upside down. Maybe it's because they're on the other side of the what is it called? The meridian line or something. <laughs> I don't know. But I read somewhere where it says, uh, do not drain. See, it says, while playing 100% pure tuna and salt, no liquids added. Well, there's a lot more liquid in there than there is in the rain coast. You can see the rain coast does have liquid in there, but not nearly as much. Um... So I think you get more of a more of a tuna kick with your raincoats, definitely. Um, yeah, the safe catch. Not really sure. Um, oh, I don't know. Try a little bit more here. I mean, don't get me wrong, <clears throat> they are nice, uh, basically, tuna steaks, so you're getting, you're getting good meat, um, I don't know, man, it's a freaking tough call, I mean, for a dollar less a can, you know, you may not, uh, you know, you may choose this. I mean, if you want something that's 100% North American, you know, caught, uh, processed, canned, everything, you got your raincoats. Or, like I say, if I can ever get a freaking can of American tuna, uh, we'll give that a whirly wig. Because I'd really like to compare American tuna to uh, raincoast. Raincoast Trading Company or something, dot com. It's, uh, let's see if I try flipping this over, it's gonna... Alright, so we got a little brown on the bottom on this one. Well, of course, no, that's the bottom, that's the top, huh. I don't know. I guess, uh... It is what it is. I still think the Rain Coast just has that slight edge on uh, flavor. I think it's a, a lot richer tasting tuna. Tastes like tastes like tuna. This, for some reason, the Wild Planet is. Uh, It just doesn't taste as strong. Neither does the uh, safe catch. Well, that's that. <clears throat> All done in uh, North America. I'm talking about United States and above. Um, caught in Northern Pacific waters and New Zealand waters. Processed and canned in Vietnam. This one, no idea where the fish comes from. Safe catch, and it's uh, processed and whatnot in Thailand. So, don't know if that helps anybody, um, but whatever. Now I can't wait to do them stuffed portobello mushrooms or the uh, uh, tuna portobello mushroom melts. So. All right, see ya.